Good morning, Granada. I'm Jordan. And I'm Will. And this is your El Aviso for Thursday, November 5th, 2015. Here's Lily with Hotspot. Today's location is perfect for anyone that has a need for speed. I'm Lily and today's Hotspot is here we go. I give you a go two out of three dollar signs because it is $25 for an eight minute session and an extra $25 if you do not have a license in order to get a certification. Yumigo is only 14 minutes away from Granada High School on 6538 Patterson Pass Road. Here at Yumigo, not only do they have an arcade, but they also host various parties and group events. If you have a membership here at Yumigo, you can attend racing events with other members. Well, everybody, that was my last segment for this trimester. I'll see you guys next month on Hotspot. Thanks, Lily. Hey, seniors. If you haven't gotten your senior portraits taken yet, the deadline is approaching fast. Please make an appointment with Creative Imaging in Pleasanton to have your picture taken before Friday, November 20th. Don't miss having your gorgeous face in this year's yearbook. Parking permits will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis starting Friday, November 13th on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at lunch and after school in Student Services for $15. If you did not have a permit for trimester one, then stop by Student Services to pick up an application. Make sure you get one before they drive away. Here's Kyle with Chatterbox. <sighs> um, so what would you do on a rainy day? I would probably make a cup of tea and just sit and stop the day with some films and some books. That would be on point. Very sure. Same. I would roll in the rain. Roll in the rain? Yeah. You get, get kind of wet and muddy and gross. Though. And get hypothermia, yeah. Running around in the rain to like experience it. <laughs> El Nino, baby. <laughs> On a rainy day, I'd just cry. Am I in this? I'd probably go to the beach with a cup of hot chocolate and sit in the middle of a tide pool. There's this, like, ditch behind my house, and I would put a ton of soap and, like, water in it. Oh, there's already water in it because of rain. And do, like, a giant slip and slide. So, Emily, what would you do on a rainy day? I don't know. Ask Dad. I'd probably drink the rain until there's no more rain, until everything's just a desert of nothingness. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was great. What would you do on a rainy day? Nothing. I would make sure that I went to improv every Tuesday and Thursday in room 503. Koji, what would you do on a rainy day? Pick my dog. What? C cook my dog. Cook your dog. <laughs> so, Ben, what would you do on a rainy day? I would go door to door and tell each person that the drought is over. Thank you, Kyle. Spirit Week continues today with Embarrassing Parent Day, and tomorrow, don't forget to wear black and gold bling. Both Granada and Livermore will have the same spirit days and will be competing against each other through a poll on the at Matador vs. Cowboy Twitter page. So pick those phones up and show your Matador pride. If all you seniors out there are wanting to go to the Senior Disneyland Grad Night Trip in June, be sure to get your registration and deposit into Adventures America ASAP. Information is available on the Granada website, under Senior Class, and also in Student Services. Have a magical day. Here's Nick with Batter Up. Even though the fall sports season is almost over, there are still lots of exciting football and volleyball action to check out. So let's get right into that. I'm Nick Batters, and this is the Batter Up Sports Trap. While they were unable to pull out a win last week, the girls' volleyball team fought hard against Foothill, a match that was highlighted by Maggie Kilde, who once again continued to excel, as she had 35 assists over the four sets. Currently, Abby Youngblood leads the league in digs, and Pamela White leads the league in blocks. Today, the girls' volleyball teams will be concluding the regular season, as they gear up for the playoffs as they play Livermore at home. For the varsity girls, tonight is senior night, so please make sure to come out and show your support for our senior players. Last week, our football teams played San Ramon Valley. While the freshman and varsity teams lost, our JV team won 21-14. After being tied at 14 with less than 7 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, the guys were able to push ahead to pull out the win and lead into a very exciting senior night game for the varsity team. 
While the varsity squad was unable to pull out a win, Ryan Silvis and Jason Frost had several key runs, providing for an incredible atmosphere. This week, our football teams conclude the regular season against Livermore. Today, the freshman team plays the Cowboys at home, and tomorrow, JV and Varsity will play on the road at LHS. The JV team is closing in on the league championship, so let's make sure to come out and support our football program as they play in Cowboy territory. With the girls' volleyball teams concluding their season tonight, and the football teams finishing up play tomorrow, there's lots of exciting action for everyone to check out as our fall athletic season slowly comes to an end. Thank you, Nick. Donate personal care items and snacks to the military through tomorrow. Examples of items to donate are socks, Q-tips, deodorant, candy, toothpaste, etc. To find a donation list, visit bluestarmoms.org. Donation locations will be in each hall and in the quad. Interact's Coin Wars ends tomorrow. Donate money to help the fight against human trafficking. Coins are worth positive points and paper money is negative points. The leading third period class will win a pizza party. Mr. Thayer's math classes are taking a new approach on learning. They will be holding an exhibition regarding public art in the Little Gym on Friday, November 13, 2015. The purpose of this event is for students to apply their knowledge of math to solve real-world problems. He is one of the first teachers to experiment with math in this way at Granada, and it truly will be interesting to see the results. Make sure to stop by the Little Gym next Friday during third or fifth period to support project-based learning in the math department. Tomorrow, a representative from the Academy of Art University will be in the Counseling and Career Center to meet with interested students. So come by to learn more about the Academy of Art University. Well, that's all for today, Granada. Have a wonderful Thursday and stay classy. Hey Granada, I'm Nick Batters, this week's El Aviso Director. Thank you all very much for watching our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Like we mentioned last week, there is a lot of great bonus content that we cannot fit in the El Aviso each week due to the 8 minute time limit. For example, we have Media Mashup, Vlogtoria, and a UFC commercial. You can click on any of these three videos and it will take you right to the video. Yes, I'm serious. Teachers, try it, just, just click on the videos. Any, any three of these videos. Just click on it, it'll take you right to the video, and you'll get to watch some great bonus content that our students put a lot of hard work into. My crew did a great job this week, so I highly recommend checking out these segments in commercial. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.